Patel, Gary here from Gaz the K. Hope you're all doing well. Um, another weekend to come up, and um, I thought I'd do a video because I seem to have forgotten all about this model. So I thought I'd do a um, video on the Lindbergh Kalamigon Dodge 330, which I've been building on and off for a couple of months, I suppose. Uh, so if any of you have been following along, <coughs> um, it's now completed and done. I know a few of you may have seen some photos I put up on Facebook on the classic Chris's Classic Plastic group. Because um, this one has been done for a good two or three weeks. Unfortunately, I had um, a couple of weeks I've had like a stinking cold flu type thing. So I haven't really been in the mood to do any videos and such. But uh, I thought I'd do this one and I've got another one coming up pretty soon um, with some new stuff that I've got recently just to show you what's going on and what I'm working on next anyway so <clears throat> we'll have a quick look at this um, this um, Dodge and I'll have a quick talk to you about it see what we've done and then I will uh, put some photographs up at the end and um, yeah let's leave it at that so let's get going there she is um, turned out quite nice. Um, I had a few problems with it. <clears throat> um, I had to spray this one two tone. Uh, this one was two tone. Uh, obviously, you can see it white and blue. Uh, you do get decals in the kit to actually do the blue. You got to paint the roof blue, but you get the decals to do all the um, quarter panels and such. But I didn't. I actually masked this one off and did a two tone paintwork on it, which. Um, to be honest, <clears throat> I wasn't too keen on doing to start with, but it, it turned out okay. It's a little bit raggy around the edges, and you know, some of the actual edges along there are a little bit untidy. But to be honest, yeah, I'm quite happy with it. Turned out it's got a little bit of foil um, foil work on it. There's not much on these cars. These cars were very basic. Obviously, they were, you know, from the factory. They were base models. They were designed to be drag drag raced. You know, they're not uh, luxury cars as such so um, there's not an awful lot of chrome trim on it um, there is so I'm going right down the length of the car and around the windows there and the front and rear windows um, <clears throat> the decals on this kit were a nightmare that was one of the things that did put me back a long time I had to use um, what did I use all oh, the um, micro scale um, oh, this stuff liquid decal film I used some of that to restore the decals, <coughs> which made them just about usable. Um, <clears throat> so they look okay. Sorry, I keep clearing my throat, guys. I've still got a bit of a gammy throat. So they made it just about usable. They're a little bit yellowed because it was quite an old version of this kit. But they're usable. I think it's turned out okay. I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. And the only other thing that was a bit of a pain in the ass on this kit was the rear panel. Um, now... On the actual, let's go focus. Sorry, guys, this camera's going to be a bit of a pain in the ass tonight. Um, I should have fitted the rear panel <coughs> when I was uh, doing the prep work on the bodywork. Um, it asks for you to fit it afterwards. But I wish I didn't, because uh, it was warped. And I didn't realise until after I painted it and I came to fit it that it was warped and I had a hell of a job getting it to fit properly and the tail lights don't fit properly because of that uh, from a distance yeah it looks okay but if, you know I'm quite fussy and if I get up close to it it's really annoying how sort of wonky the tail lights are um, you know it's okay it displays well but I'm not too happy with that uh, the wheels <clears throat> if anybody's built one of these Lindbergh kits the the wheels, the way they actually fit onto the actual um, hubs, oops, the way they actually fit onto the hubs is got to be one of the poorest sort of fitment areas I've ever seen on a kit. Uh, the stub that they actually go onto doesn't is too small for the actual wheel backs, and they are just a nightmare. So I had to um, epoxy resin the actual wheels on and keep it all square um, as I was gluing it. Um, but again, it's turned out okay. I did raise the suspension on the front to give it a sort of, you know, sort of ass down, front high sort of look that, that these super stock um, drag cars had. 
<clears throat> so, because um, if you build the kit the way the instructions tell you, it looks it's got a rake like that. It looks a bit daft if you ask me. But so yeah, we got um, like I said, I'll try and do some more detailed pictures for you and photographs because you can't see much on this camera, unfortunately, on this uh, video. But um, it's got a, a red interior which was done with craft acrylics. Um, I said the, the body is sprayed with aerosol car paints. Um, I think it's a voxel blue and a Ford white. <laughs> so yeah, not nothing Chrysler related there at all. But you know, I've got to use what I can find. I'm afraid. Didn't wire the engine on this one, uh, but I have done some detail painting in it. Um, I hope it's showing up okay. That gives you some sort of idea. Um, to be honest, I think the engine looks pretty much good enough as it is. So I'm quite happy the way it's turned out. Black washed the grill. Uh, the wheels are uh, gunmetal and the actual original chrome. So yeah, overall, nice kit. I would do one again. I think it's quite a nice little kit. It goes together very well, apart from the other the couple of fitment issues which I've just mentioned. But it's not enough to put me off not building another one at some point. Maybe the Ram Charger's one or the Maverick. The Maverick one. <coughs> but um, yeah, so... Um, Thanks for following along guys, sorry it's been a long time since this one has been uh, updated but it is finally finished. I hope you like it, uh, leave some comments below, uh, let me know what you think, good or bad. <laughs> and um, thanks for all the subs recently guys and all the views, you know, you know I always appreciate it. And I try and comment back as much as I can. Um, Say so to the next video which will be a general update video on what's coming up next and what kits I've got recently and a few other things I'd like to talk about and chat about then uh, I'll sign off for now on this one um, and I'll put some photos up at the end uh, so you can see a few, bit more detail of the Colour Me Gone Dodge. Cheers for now boys. <laughs>